Hello and welcome our listeners who are watching and listening to our podcast, The Global Smart Cities. Today, our guest, Honorary Mayor of Seoul Metropolitan Government, Mr. Professor John Cohen Lee. Hello, Mr. Uh, John. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're so happy and pleasure for having you. Yes, and it's a great... It's uh, yeah. Mr. Uh, John, as a leading figure in both technology management and city governance, could you share some insight on how uh, smart city initiatives are uh, involving and impacting communities globally? Mm. I think a lot of different cities are actually formulating the strategies and coming out with a number of initiatives. I think different cities focus on different initiatives. So, for example, like Northern Europe, they are focusing on the sustainability, mm. uh, whereas uh, some Asian countries are looking at the mobility as well. So I think that there are different initiatives there. But it's all for the citizens. Mm -hmm. I think the, they are developing the apps and services that which will provide the more improving the uh, you know uh, traffic time, improving the all the, this kind of a uh, uh, kind of a safety as well, and also the you know measuring the air quality for the protecting the environment as well. So there are many many kind of application has been involved, and then back to the community services again. How the people are adopting these services is very important, mm -hmm. and I think the you know there are a lot of uh, citizen engagement to defining the problems of and resolving the problems together, and that becoming very uh, core essence of this smart city implementation. So uh, we often talk about the benefits of smart cities, uh, but to what are some potential challenges or risks that uh, uh, need to be addressed? Um, as these technologies become more integrated into our daily lives and urban uh, infrastructure? Mm. I think the new technology sometimes actually uh, kind of threatening the people and you know, not able to actually uh, kind of supply the right, right way. Mm. So I think the, uh, when you actually designing the services or infrastructures or when you design this initiative, you have to think about the uh, following three things. First, I think the data. How this data will be used, and whether the, is data going to be harmful to people? Uh, how how this data will be protect to us as well? How this data will be more trustable? As well? I think the second one is actually basically the uh, how we can actually uh, challenge with the digital divide. So there are many many cities are now actually experiencing digital divide or digital gaps between the uh, people. Uh, again, the AI will in, impact very largely in the city. Again, the, there will be the AI divide. Uh, some cities were using AI very well uh, with the very uh, good infrastructures will actually advance, uh, whereas uh, some of the city who doesn't have this uh, technology will be lagging. As well. So I think the how we're going to actually this uh, challenges will be resolved will be uh, done by the lot of leaderships and also the governance of the uh, uh, kind of city governance as well as the national governance. Being from Seoul, um, a city known for its technological advancement, mm. uh, what do you think other cities, including um, those in the Gulf uh, region, mm. um, can learn from Seoul's experience in mm. building smarter urban environments? Mm. I think the Seoul has got a, a very good essence of the uh, uh, infrastructure. So I do the index report. Uh, with Cambridge University, and then we are assessing these things. And I think the uh, Asian countries are very strong at the infrastructures and that. I think the there is a similarity here in in Gulf regions that they they have the, some very good high capability of infrastructures supporting the next phase of smart city as well, which means AI driven city or AI powered city as well. Uh, again, this takes time uh, because uh, uh, you need to have some data to store it. And then you need to have some accumulate this data to actually use it at, at the later. So uh, how fast you're going to accumulate this data or utilizing data will be very important. Uh, again, uh, one of the essence of the smart city was the ecosystems. So there are a lot of uh, uh, companies or startups that actually who are interested to using this data to provide in the new economy, uh, what, what we call the data economy. And that will be the other kind of a very essence of that. I think the third one is the again the governor, strong leadership in governance. Right? And I see the many cities who have got strong leaderships and very uh, kind of uh, you know forms of the initiative, structural way of initiatives. They succeed quite well uh, relatively compared to 
the, some city who doesn't have these kind of structures, uh, they seems to be more fragmented. As well. So I think the uh, I think the, the in this Gulf regions, I think I believe that uh, is a growing sector. Uh, I think you have the right forms of the governance as well. Uh, with Sadaya working with a lot of different ministries together uh, to form the leadership, uh, you have a very good relationship between the national and cities together and co-working together as a team. Whereas other country has got a different agenda, and that is quite challenge for them as well. So I think that there's some similarity of uh, steps that the, the Korea was uh, similar to what what, what the, the Saudi is doing right now as well. So I think that we I'm, we are very happy to actually provide what we know and you know what are the insights that we and what what is the must do and must not do. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the kind of uh, uh, what I'm here for. Right. Thank you. So, what are your thoughts on significance of global smart city forum, and how do you anticipate its outcomes and uh, discussions will impact the smart city industry on a global scale? I think this is a kind of a, a starting kind of a sign of uh, you know in in, in, in in Saudi is now taken very seriously of a smart city. And I think this event signifies that all ministers was here, you know, all these kind of uh, initiatives are here uh, to move forward. And this uh, forum uh, basically uh, going into the next steps to have a expo and smart city kind of uh, uh, development uh, in, in this region as well. And I think I believe that I believe that the Liad has got a, such that capability to have these things. I think that this is a uh, true that. After one year, I came back. I think that there is a significant development here, and it's really fast as well. Yeah. Uh, you have a very good human resources. I heard that the, about seventy percent of populations are very young people as well, and these young people has a huge potential start to grow, and that is the kind of a very uh, promising that how you're going to grow for the next years as well. And I'm really looking forward to see how this will be developed. Yeah, we are uh, so excited to, to see what is the next step. Um, Mr. John Kong Lee, thank you so much yeah. for your informative information. And we were so happy for having you today yeah. with us. Yeah. Thanks for having me and uh, look forward to seeing everyone here as well. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Our listeners, thank you for watching and we are waiting you for the next episode.